Hello, welcome to the Vero Monitoring Senior Project of the Class of 2020. This is the team of Grand Valley students that worked on this project. This project was sponsored by the Be Informed Partnership, whose mission is to improve bee colony health, um, support beekeepers, and bridge that gap between science and industry. And they're the largest U.S. repository of colonies and health data in the United States. Currently, field specialists will collect approximately 300 bees into a mason jar and add alcohol to the jar. They will shake it for about one minute, pour the bee and mite mixture through a mesh, rinse and repeat this step until the bees are free of the varroa mites, and they will then count the number of mites and discard of the bees. The problem with this process is that it's very time consuming. As seen from the image, if there are many beehives, the field, it will take the field specialist a long time to complete the shaking process. If the shaking process was automated, the field specialist would have much more time to do specialized tasks instead of shaking the bees. The purpose of this project is to create a device that automated the shaking process of the alcohol washes and increase the accuracy of the data taken in the field. The shaking device must be at most 24 by 60 by 25 inches, which will allow the device to fit on the top of beehives as well as in the back of field specialist trucks. The mite removal jar must hold a minimum of 500 milliliters, which will include both the bee and mite combination and the isopropyl alcohol. The shaking device must also be at most 30 pounds, which will allow for it to be easily transferable within the field. Lastly, the shaking device must be powered from the field. To do this, we will be utilizing a rechargeable battery. Another important specification is process time, which must be less than four minutes. In addition, waterproof, temperature resistance, and durability were specifications that were all affected by COVID-19. Our solution has three parts, the mite removal jar, an orbital shaker, and software for counting the bees. The mite removal jar has three parts, the bee mesh, the mite mesh, and the alcohol reservoir. This jar is placed on top of the orbital shaker, which is rotated in a swooshing motion that gets the alcohol in through the bees and helps dislodge the mites. Software was developed to count the bees after the mites were removed. Images of components for the mite removal jar and orbital shaker are shown on this slide. From left to right, the components are a 3D printed bee mesh, a prototype for the base of the orbital shaker, the 3D printer printing components for the orbital shaker, and lastly, the final box for the orbital shaker. Here's the final product. As you can see, the circular motion of the shaker creates turbulence inside the jar that helps dislodge the mites from the bees. Challenges that were faced during this project due to COVID-19 include virtual team meetings, no access to Grand Valley's machine shops, which led to a redesign utilizing a 3D printer, which then led to further roadblocks, including failed centers on the printer. We would like to thank the Be Inform Partnership for sponsoring this project, as well as Grand Valley's Office of Sustainability for funding. If you'd like to support the Be Inform Partnership, please see the link.